This is the only place where they could have passed by. 70,000 men don't just disappear like that. Someone must have seen them. You must stop believing that Spartacus is merely a rambunctious rebel. Yes. They haven't passed through any village yet. The only direction they could have possibly gone is south. In that case, the sea will stop them. That is why we must stop them before they are able to cross the sea into Sicily. Spartacus, how are we to get across the sea? Don't worry, you'll see. Our child will be born a free citizen in the land across the sea, and he will never know slavery. Hmm. We've searched the whole coast all the way to the farthest point here, and we haven't seen anyone. It seems as though they vanished completely. But I must confess, I can't begin to understand how. What's that? Oh. Hail, Lucio Coclete. Mm. I've come to report to you that we've found them. <clears throat> Let's go now, to the horses, men! Let's get going. bring Cresso here, and from here we will encircle them, half from the right and half from the left. They'll have no way of escaping. The sea will serve as an impenetrable barrier. It's him. defeated them, Spartacus! Yes, but they found us. Now I'm afraid we don't have much time. We found them! We've seen them, Crosso! Who did this to you? 
Spartacus did this to me. There were more than a thousand of them. We fought with all our might. Commander Lucio Coclete has been killed in battle. It was a massacre. Where did you leave their bodies? On the beach, Your Eminence, under the promontory of Sicily. Well, well. Caesar, do you know what I'm thinking about at this very moment? Yes, I think I do. Now I'm sure I know what his next move is going to be. <laughs> His next move is here. We will catch them. They have no escape. What news? He has agreed. He will meet you soon. Then pray, let him come. He is welcome in my home anytime. Huh? Don't be ridiculous. What are you thinking? He will never come to you, Gladiator. He wants me to bring you to him. That is assuming that you still want to close the deal, Spartacus. He's just arrogant. And who offers the guarantee that it's not a trap? Silverio Manoftalmo is a man of honor. He has given you his word. That should be good enough for you. Sure. I should take a pirate's word. It's merely his profession, a job as any other, and he's the only one who can give you what you want. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I'll know that when I see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It will happen this evening. Lower your heads! We've arrived! Waiting. Come on! Sir, he's Spartacus! I was curious to meet you, Spartacus. You've become infamous. I was told that you were the only one who could help. <laughs> That's what they told you. Perhaps I'm not the only one, but I'm certainly the best, that's for sure. The richest. And that's very important around here, isn't it? I do not wish to bore you with the details of my quest, but I am on a very important mission, I assure you. I have many men I must bring to Sicily. <laughs> yes, yes, I know it. And I respect those that have the guts to fight against Rome. In my own way, I fight the Romans too. There's no need for you to be afraid of Scylla or Greedy. The fishermen around here say that the Straits are protected by those two monsters. We have fought the Roman legions halfway around the world. Truly, we've seen worse monsters than those you speak of. We are not afraid. You may not be afraid, but to convince the sailors can be quite expensive. I know. I'm the one that has to pay them all the time. Mm. Tell me about the cost. A ship can hold a maximum of 250 people. And that's if you press them together like sardines. That's the formula you use to calculate how many boats you'll need. Once the flotilla has been put together, you'll need to organize your people so we can load them onto the boats quickly and efficiently, because the Romans won't give you much time. I have designed a plan to board the ships with supplies very quickly, but I need to know how many ships you can get me. 
I hate to tell you this, my friend, but the maximum number of boats I can gather is 20. Because it's a brief journey, each boat will make more than one trip. We can do it. Uh, but I'm going to want 4,000 in silver before I do anything. It's not that I don't trust you, Spartacus. It's just the way I do business. But that's practically everything I have. That's not my problem. Take it or leave it. We don't have a lot of time to spend bargaining over this. When do you think you will have everything organized and ready to deliver to me? One, two, three, four thousand. Well, if you pay me in advance, we can get started right away. No way. I will pay two thousand now and the rest when you get the job done. Okay. That'll be just fine. Now that we have everything agreed to, the sooner you start, the sooner you will have your money. <laughs> well, that's not the way we do things around here, Spartacus. First you seem to agree, then you disagree. But the lives of my men are trapped in your madness. Tell me now if we have a deal or not. <sighs> hmm. You drive a hard bargain, but I'll need the advance. I'm a man who lives by his word. You will have your advance and the other half when the job is done. You look tired. Why don't you go get some rest, Jinnia? I take it you do know where he went, right? You're absolutely right, friend. Spartacus can be very difficult sometimes. I hope he's all right. I know he'll return. Therefore, we must wait. I'm very afraid for him, Gallo. There's a ship approaching! True, but I see that it's not them. Who are they? I don't know, but whoever it is, I hope it's not the Romans. Oh. They've returned. Ah. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Genia, they've agreed. They oh. said yes. Oh. Down there! Spartacus has kept his word. And now I imagine you're here to collect your part. I thank you, pirate. You always know where I can be found. Spartacus has told me to remind you that he is waiting for the ships to arrive in three days' time. I know, I know. You can reassure him. He wants his ships and I want my money. Come here, let me remind you of something. We have a mutual interest. After all, business is business.
Huh? What are you men doing here? You'll soon see Roman ships appearing on the horizon if you don't listen to us. But if you do listen, we can promise you will receive a splendid gift from Crosso. I'll listen, I'll listen, of course I'll listen to you! <laughs> Let's give thanks and have a toast to Salvario Monotelmo, a ferryman to the lands of Sicily. <laughs> and to General Spartacus, who led us here! I'd follow that warrior into hell! I can promise you that tomorrow we will run so fast we will be the first ones to get on the ferry. After all we've been through, Ray Neptune is on our side. Will he be satisfied? I promise you, he'll be happy. Just wait and see. Here. What do you want, fisherman? I don't understand. Why are you abandoning them? They've paid you well. Get lost, fisherman. But surely it would be possible to sell them to the Romans. They've placed their trust in you. It's just business, you understand? Just business. May Neptune devour you and your crew. Bring me a bow and arrow. <laughs> Too bad for him. I can't afford any witnesses. I can't see anyone. It's early. They'll arrive soon. I don't why understand why we're boats? still stuck here. Did they here. abandon when us here? here? What's I'm going hungry. on? No need to worry, everyone. Everything is under control. I think that's Aurelio. <laughs> what happened to you, old friend? The Romans paid more than you did, and the pirates sold you out. And what happened to all our money? I came to warn you, even if I shouldn't. You had to know. But our money, where is our money? I swear that I didn't betray you, Spartacus. You must believe me. 